everyone and welcome back to another video and this is week 32. I am still in my yellow. She is getting very chunky. I did add a few things in uh, this past week so I am excited to show you those but I think I may have to slim her down soon and just take out things that I don't need every day. I am thinking about putting them in my Miyakara so that I can still use them if I need to, but maybe just keep it on my desk, uh, especially when I start kind of school again. Um, we'll see. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to work work through things and see what's going to yeah, help me the most and um, just help, really. So we will see. <laughs> But yeah, let's get into this week's flip. So the pockets and things are all still the same. Pictures, sticky notes, a little um, card here from Journaling Home, which I might change out soon. These are just some uh, receipts from the post office that I'm keeping there. Some stickers. I have been trying to decorate my dailies. I'm um, just for something fun. Uh, I have my little fly leaf here with just some school stuff really that I need to sort out. Uh, my kids don't go back to school until the beginning of September so we still have a few weeks left. My dashboard and then my little list section with all my lists to buys, to do's, wish lists and school list, gift list and then some recipes at the back. Then we have my little notes section. So this might be something that comes out. Maybe not the whole thing, um, but my I think my volunteering stuff could be switched out into a different planner just because I don't reference it every day. Uh, it is very handy to have with me, but I don't reference it every day. So I don't necessarily need that in there. I will keep uh, probably these pages in here as it's just good to have some scratch paper. I have my driving lesson questions here. Um, back to school shopping and then just some random notes um, and things there. Then I have my uh, monthlies. So I have an overview and then my Peanuts Panico monthlies. I did look at a month on four pages. I'm not sure if that's something that I want to do. The idea was that I could have uh, kind of a page on the front of the month to maybe have like an overview or uh, just important notes or information and then have the spread here as normal and then on the back maybe a to-do list that could act like an inbox. So have kind of personal and then a school one or um, personal and home I'm not really sure but um yeah my that was my thinking behind the month on four pages but I just haven't found one that I really like the look of so I've just stuck with these ones so far and they're working really well you can see we are not very busy in August which is nice and then school starts again on the 3rd of September I have the rest of the year there these are just notes for next year and then you jump into my weeklies. Again, I've looked at a different weekly. It's a week on two pages. I'm not going to need it during the summer, but I feel like September I might switch to that one. Um, but I will keep you updated. And then we go into my dailies which are just here. This was yesterday. I have this little list here, which is just things that I want to keep uh, reminding myself about. And then this is today. If you are on my Instagram, you would have seen this, but I did pick up a kind of cheap um, planner for when I start school. Um, I just have some sticky notes and it has a place for timetables, deadlines, and then some notable dates and things. And then it's just a day on a page. It did actually start in July, but obviously I won't be using it until September. But I thought I could just use these for notes pages if I needed some extra notes pages. But the idea with this was that I could just take this with me to school. 
and use the daily page to write everything down. Um, you know, important dates, things that I've got to do. Um, yeah, just things like that in here. And then when I get home, I could transfer things into here. Um, like add things to my monthly, um, the calendar and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do that or if I'm going to want to do that. Uh, but that is my plan so far. So I won't need one of these dailies every day, I don't think, because I'd be using that one for school days. But we'll see. Um, I am still using these for now and really enjoying them still. Just have a receipt in there as well. And then I have my little daily journaling sheets here. Again, really enjoying these. I don't fill them in every day, but it's nice to have them. Yeah, I think I might change this top section. So right now it says, how am I feeling today? I might kind of change that to a what happened today, kind of like a re recap of the day. Um, I think that might work a little bit better as how I'm feeling kind of ties in with my mood most of the time I'm finding. So yeah, I might change that one when I print some more. I do have quite a few of these uh, left though. Then we have a new little section and this is for uh, school. So I've started to get this little section ready. I just popped this cover on because I wanted to cover and it was the first one that I found. I have term dates for me and then things to do before I start, things to buy. And then I did add these month on a page from Paper Test Designs. And I thought this would just be great as an overview. So this would just be school stuff for me. Um, so like due dates and things I could just pop on here. And I just have four months in here as that would take me to the first um, kind of big break some holiday um the christmas holidays so i thought that would be hopefully a good idea i don't know we'll have to see the idea was that i didn't want to clutter up my monthlies so they already get quite full with the school with the kids school stuff and general like us family stuff and um, so i didn't want to clutter that up with my school stuff i wanted to keep it a little bit separate so we'll see how that works out and I also purchased these assignment trackers from Peanuts Planico um, just so that I can track those. I do need to keep track of my grades as well. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. In my head, I kind of thought I could use a highlighter and have a little key somewhere, but I'm not sure if that will work. Um, but that is all my school section so far. It's super tiny. I'm just trying to start getting it together and to see how it's all going to work <laughs> um, and then we just have my book stuff so I still haven't printed those I've got my tracker the book log again this might be something that I take out um I don't know I may keep I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do but yeah I may take all this stuff out we shall see then we have my little memory sheet so I printed out my pictures for July. I just haven't filled them in yet. So I need to do that this afternoon. I did do my reflections and then I have my driving lesson tracker as well. My gratitude, again, I might take the first six months out of here and just leave the last six months. Social media tracker, that will probably come out as well. And then I have a cycle tracker and health logs. Uh, body measurements some of those could probably come out as well um, we have my workout tracker and then a few of the different trackers and things and I do have my monthly uh, tracker here then I have my uh, meal plan home section cleaning all that I did change my um, cleaning one my meal plan one I think I might start using my dailies to track my meals you can see that I did it down here um, I, I sometimes forget to fill this in and I think it'll be easier if I could just write it on my dailies so I might try that this next week and see how that goes and then get rid of this meal plan section 
and my cleaning I was using this but I stopped and I am transferring things onto here so it will just be for the month and I can track it and then if I need to do something weekly I'm going to kind of draw in the weeks with a line and I can track to see you know if I'm doing something once a week twice a week or daily kind of thing I could break it into the sections of the house I need to play around with that insert but that's my idea for now I do have a couple of those weekly ones still in there as well and then you just have master shopping list meal ideas and meals to try which I could move to my list section if I do decide to remove the other meal inserts and then I just have my kids section um, I have popped in their school dates as well so I have kind of these two sheets for them I have information about their new classes and things and then I have all their health logs which I, again I don't necessarily need in here every day so they could move out I probably would keep their school dates and things in here but I could move the folders somewhere else I need to buy new glasses so I just have my prescription there and then I have pictures. The back is stickers that again I'm trying to use on my dailies so I've just kept them there and the back pocket is still the same as well. If you have any questions or suggestions please do leave them down below and if not I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!